No other method was an option for us right from the start. We neither used an oil bath nor heated with a flame. We contacted Symitech directly and immediately started working with the heating device. As soon as you log in, the device informs you of its function status and you can stop it. It can be very practical when you are doing something or continuing to work, as you always have everything in view. You can heat either via the coil or via the yoke. You could also heat a housing or a bearing. It always depends on how you carry out the assembly. We have here the shaft of a twin shaft shredder of a shredder with bearing damage. Now it's time to fit the new bearings on it. As you can see, large dimensions and large parts that need to be heated. And we use the induction heater from Simatech for this. So it stays in whole mode, cools down by two to three degrees and then starts again. This means we give the process time to distribute the heat evenly throughout the workpiece and let the heating process start once or twice more so that the entire workpiece is really heated to 120 degrees. Now you can see that the temperature is now 121 degrees. This means that I then remove the yoke. You can then lift the workpiece and remove it. An induction heater is actually standard equipment for every workshop that regularly assembles and disassembles bearings. If someone only needs to heat a bearing every five years, they can borrow the device from a colleague. Otherwise, it is an indispensable tool. It ensures greater safety, extends the service life of the bearings, and saves a considerable amount of time. Our experience with the device we are currently using has been consistently good and positive. We would definitely buy it again and recommend it to other people who are looking for a solution like this to heat components inductively. Heating process finished heat hole mode active. If you don't come back for half an hour, the appliance heats up to the desired temperature again and again. At what temperature difference does it start heating again? Four to five degrees. For me, the advantage of the bearing handling tool when heating is clearly that you no longer have to guide or touch the heated workpiece directly. Instead, you can grip it far outwards with the BHT, hold it securely and guide it well. This keeps you further away from the heat of the workpiece. Reliability, value for money, and the innovative technology make this appliance a must for every customer.